I'm Carol Thompson, and until two years ago, I was Executive Vice President of Baptist Health and uh, retired two years ago. So I have the privilege now of continuing to serve on the board of Baptist, but I am not, well, let's say I no longer draw a paycheck. Uh, in 2001, I had the great privilege of being the first woman to chair the Jacksonville Regional Chamber of Commerce. Uh, the history of Jacksonville Chamber was 119 years old, and there had never been a woman to chair it. So it was a distinct honor for me, uh, one that I took on with, not without a little trepidation, since I was the first person to represent, if you will, women in that particular role. Uh, it was not a particular foreign position for me because I had been in a, an executive position that was predominantly male. I'd been used to working. I had been in boardrooms where I was the only woman there. And frankly, many of the people that I worked with were my friends and colleagues, and they were extraordinarily supportive, both men and women. So I might not have faced some of the challenges that women who were newly in a position where they might find themselves in the distinct minority in the room, but um, nevertheless, there were some challenges. I'm fortunate not every woman who takes on a leadership role has been had that opportunity and that's why I firmly believe in mentors. I think we, we sometimes fail when we give someone an opportunity or they have an opportunity to be in a position that might be the first, that we also have to recognize we need to mentor people. Look at styles, the way decisions are ma made in the process. So I'm, a, I'm also a big believer that, that that old saying that young people have when they get out of college. I can't get a job because I don't have experience, and I can't get experience because I don't have a job. And so it's extraordinarily important that we sometimes provide an opportunity for a person who is qualified, and they may not be the most qualified, but with the right resources, the right support, and the right mentoring, they can become the very best at that job. Many of the things I was passionate about, I was able to work in the chamber um, to help bring about diversity of our community and inclusion in the workplace was a, a major agenda. Um, I, while I look at that as a very important time in both my life and I hope in the life of the community, I was not the first woman to pioneer things. I learned from other people who were wonderful role models in the community and I hope that I gave back in a way that young women could look up and aspire. That being chair of the chamber, being chair of a, a board, being a CEO of a corporation is something that they would have the ability to do as well. I think about today and where we are, and um, this 2001 wasn't that long ago, but it was a, a pretty big milestone in the life of the community uh, today in the presidential election or the, the primaries where we are at this point in the nominees. The thing that I feel good about is this was not really about race and gender when this started. And it wasn't as big a deal as it would have been at another point in our history. That's progress to me. That's a good thing. We're actually, the debate centered more on experience, age, wisdom, hope, vision, words that are wonderful. The dialogue has been great, in not only in our community, but in our nation and frankly around the world. I just got back from a trip where people in other countries were talking about this. And they weren't talking about it so much in terms of race and gender, but they were talking about the differences in the candidates and their qualifications. And that's perhaps the thing that I took away from my experience is that I always want to be as qualified as I can be. I, I believe that uh, luck is it's not just luck, it's when preparation or when opportunity meets preparation. So always strive to be prepared for a new opportunity. And that's what I would try to convey to young people or other women. Continue to upgrade your skills, continue to prepare for those opportunities. But today, young people find that it's not so unusual because there are women in the boardroom, there are women CEOs, there are more females enrolling in colleges than males. Um, it is changing. For some people, I know it isn't changing fast enough, and that's why the dialogue is important. It's important for us to continue it, and this will be unquestionably a historic race, and one I think that will be good for the country.